Hey, what's going on guys? My name is The Wolf Praise, and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive. Today we're going to be checking out this thing back here, in the uh, back of this van. It is called the Death Myself Bomb, and uh, it does this. Yeah, pretty fucking cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get another explosion with the doors actually shut to see what happens. Okay, and yeah, the back doors do get blown off, and there they are back there. Uh, the front doors are pretty much off as well. Let's go, just go ahead and just remove those. Here we go. Yeah, I'll just grab that point there and uh, rip that off. And uh, the other one's still on there pretty good, so yeah, uh, nice. So we're just going to be fucking around with this today and uh, exploding some cars and different things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it off this jump over here. And as soon as we hit the ground, I'm going to explode it and uh, see what happens. So here we go. And uh, nice little jump there. And boom. Ouch. Okay, uh, the doors immediately get blown out. And um, yeah, it's actually not that bad. It's more of like a fiery crash. But um, yeah, it's still pretty nice. So yes, today I'm just going to be testing the limits of what I can do with the power that has been bestowed upon me. And uh, we're going to be blowing up different kinds of vehicles. We can take the bomb out of the back and uh, actually set it on different vehicles and explode them. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have a great time with that. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty damn cool around here if you guys ask me. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and destroy some other cars. All right, of course we have to start small with the pigeon, so let's go ahead and just drag this bomb out of here. Um, I believe we can drag it out, we just have to get a good angle onto it. So here we go, Um, I'll try to, here, we have to rip this door off. The door is in the way, there we go. And uh, we can pull this bomb out. Here, uh, It's actually a really fucking heavy bomb, so here we go. I'm sure we'll get it out eventually, we'll just, there we go, okay, it's out, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this into the back of the pigeon. Oh, it's kind of stuck to the van, shit. Okay, I'll figure this out. I'll get this into the back of the pigeon, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, this has been a little bit trickier than I expected it to be, so let's just go ahead and do the easy way. We're just going to pack up here and slam on the brakes, and hopefully the package will uh, fall out. So here we go. Slam on the brakes. Come on. Did it come out? And it's still stuck in the back. Fuck. This is like the most tedious thing I've ever done in my life, but here we go. Okay. And it's in the back. Okay, nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and explode it and see what happens. Holy fucking shit. Okay, let's go ahead and check the pigeon out. He definitely went flying. That was fucking cool. Uh, this guy, he was just, you know, he just got a little bit of the backlash of the explosion. But yeah, that was fucking cool as shit. Uh, let's go ahead and choose something a little bit bigger than a pigeon. Okay, we tried it with the small pigeon. Let's go ahead and try it with the giant pigeon. And uh, I'm just going to put it in the back like I did with the small pigeon. And uh, hopefully it'll be just as nice. Yep, the Wolf Prairie's bomb removal service. Here we go. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. it. It is completely safe. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Um, this is, this is how you're supposed to remove all bombs. Just, you know, grab it and shake it around until it wiggles loose. And, uh, yeah, here you go. See? Look, it's almost loose. There we go. Um, just, here we go. We'll just pull it like this. And, uh, yeah, this is the struggle every single time. Okay, so I got the bomb out. The, uh, van is just laying over there because I threw it because out of anger. And, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put this up here and, uh, see if this will explode. Uh, the only problem is that it is from this camera angle. Shit. Um... Okay, I'll just get this guy onto his wheels and roll him over there, and I will enjoy this explosion. Here we go. Um, we're just fine. Uh, can we still drive, please? Ah, oh, come on. Here we go. We're good. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll make my way over there, and I will enjoy this explosion together. Okay, so I had to restart, but I think I did get this strategy to get the bomb out pretty easily. Um, so yeah, that should be a little bit easier from now on. Let's just go ahead and put this up in the back of the giant pigeon, like we did for the oh, small one. And we'll just pick that up and put that back up in here. You can't get away from me, Mr. Bomb. Oh, don't tip over the pigeon. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And um, let's go ba back to over here, and uh, we will enjoy this explosion together. Here we go. Okay, it's a little bit uh, melty. There we go. Okay, and boom. Okay, yeah, that was pretty fucking good, too. Nice. Um, it blew the entire bed off of the pigeon, and uh, there's a nice little fire back there. Can we still drive? Yes, we can. So, yeah, that was pretty fucking cool. Nice. Okay, and for our next test, we're going to put the uh, package bomb inside the back of the sunburst and uh, see what happens. So let's go ahead and try to open up the trunk. Here we go. Just there we go. And uh, oh, okay, it just closes again. Hopefully we can keep this open. Uh, I will just rip it off if I have to. Keep it open. Okay, I don't think that's going to work. Let's just go ahead and try to pull this in anyway. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Here we go. We'll just wiggle it into there. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, yep, there we go. Okay, that's uh, that that might actually work. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, trigger the bomb and uh, see what happens. We have to go back over to this guy, so we will just uh, enjoy it from over here. Um, okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, let me go ahead and try this one more time and see if we can get a better explosion. Okay, this time I'm just going to put the package, like, underneath the vehicle. That way, hopefully, it will explode up into the air. Um, that's my hopes anyway, so let me go ahead and get this under here, and, uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go, we'll just slide that under there nicely, and, uh, we'll just go ahead and trigger it and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, yeah, that was much better. The doors actually got blown off, and all the tires deflated. 
Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Nice. Okay, so I didn't even think about trying it with the police van, so yes, now I can take out the street racing scumbags with an explosion, so let's go ahead and work this bomb out of here, and uh, I, I can show you guys my professional bomb working skills. We have to turn the strength back up. There we go. This is a very heavy bomb. Um, it's probably like the the weight of a vehicle, so that's always good. Um, we just pull this out of here. There we go. Very easy. Oh, there we go. Let's just go jump. There we go. And uh, as you guys see, it's already almost to the back. There we go. And it's already out. So let's go ahead and uh, work this over to this vehicle. We can uh, go ahead and go over to this guy and uh, just, just slide this up underneath of him and uh, see what kind of explosion this causes. Are you ready, scumbag? Get ready to meet your maker. There we go. Okay, that's close enough. And uh, let's go ahead and go back over to this guy and uh, explode this bomb. Here we go. Remote detonation. There we go. Boom. Yes. Take that, you fucking street racing scumbag. That is right. You better not bully any more pigeons in my streets because I will not handle it. Here we go. This guy can still drive though, but he's just going to limp home with three tires. That is pretty fucking cool. So yeah, that was nice. And of course you guys know I cannot explode the street racing scumbags unless I also explode my grandfather's car as well. So we're going to go ahead and work this bomb out of here and uh, put it under grandfather's car and see how it does. Okay, so I've gotten the bomb placed under my grandfather's car. So let's go ahead and go back over here and uh, let's just go ahead and see how this explosion does. So here we go. We're going to explode it now. And okay, that was actually beautiful. It launched it so high into the air. That was awesome. Can it still drive? No. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, my granddad's going to be pissed. Um, I turned one of his doors into a suicide door. That's kind of cool. Let's just go ahead and... Oh, okay. Oh, shit. And, um, okay, yeah, I think he's going to notice this. You guys vouch for me. I didn't see anything. If he says anything, just blame it on the dog. Okay, I also want to try this bomb versus the 3,000 horsepower Reaper Barstow. Uh, so we're going to go work the bomb out of here. And uh, I'm actually going to do this live with you guys so you guys can... uh you know, see the struggles of getting the bomb out of here sometimes. But I've been getting better at it. I think you just, like, kind of grab an angle of it and flip it over. So, here we go. We're just going to grab this and pull it this way. Oh, okay. And it kind of makes the van hop sometimes. But, you know, that's fine. Here we go. And uh, we'll just grab it from now and just wiggle it. Here we go. Wiggle it. Wiggle it out. Oh, okay. And uh, this isn't working too well. Um, We'll just pull it out of here very carefully. Um, I, I actually have done it a lot better than this. But, you know, it, it, of course, as soon as I try to do it live for you guys... It's gonna fuck up. The bomb is kind of bending a little bit. Um, well, shit. We'll just we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Just brute force. Here we go. Yes, it's it's out, but it's like kind of attached to it. Um, let's just go ahead and drag it over here, close to it. As long as it's close, it should explode. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Let's see if the Reaper gets like blown up and flown over that direction. So here we go. We're gonna go explode it and boom. Okay, and uh, they were kind of stuck together, so that didn't go so well. Okay, let me go ahead and try this one more time. Okay, I've gotten the bomb out. As you guys see, it's a, it was a little bit easier than last time, so that's good. Uh, so let's go ahead and just slide this bomb up underneath the bar stow here. We'll just get it close, and then we will come over this direction. And uh, find an angle and slide it underneath. There we go. Slide that under there. There we go. And uh, okay, we will go ahead and put the brakes on. And uh, go back over to this guy. And watch the explosion of this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, yes, that was beautiful. Okay, um, yeah, so if you put it directly underneath a vehicle, it launches it up into the air. That was fucking cool as shit. Let me go ahead and flip this guy over uh, so we can get a good look at his uh, upper side here. Okay, it's nice and flat, and uh, yeah, I'd say this guy's pretty fucked. Okay, and for the last little bit of testing for today's episode, I figured out that you can also put the bomb inside of the cargo van, so we're going to go ahead and keep those doors closed, and we're going to go in slow motion and uh, see what happens when we explode it. So here we go, and three, two, one, boom. Yes! Okay, that was fucking beautiful. The sides got blown out, the door, the back got blown off. Um, both of the passenger and driver doors got blown out. That was fucking beautiful. Let's go ahead and put that full motion. And uh, yeah, that was fucking nice. And we can still drive around. Cool. Okay, let me go ahead and try this one more time. Okay, here we go again. Let's see if this is just as good as the first one. And boom. Yes. Okay. And that is just beautiful. Okay, yes. I love explosions. And uh, this is a very nice one. Uh, this is a really fucking cool mod, and you can use it to explode different types of vehicles, but you do have to drag the bomb out of the back of either of the H-Series vehicles, and it's kind of difficult to do, but it is really cool and worthwhile doing it. So, um, let me go ahead and show you guys what happens when you don't toggle off the bomb, and you respawn. Um, it just explodes Im uh, immediately, as you guys see there. It'll keep doing it no matter what you do, until you toggle off the bomb, 
and uh, then you're fine. So yeah, this is the Death Myself Bomb. I just wanted to show it to you guys because I figured it would be a lot of fun, and I had a lot of fun exploding all these different cars. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty damn cool around here, if you guys ask me. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see anything else, leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll make sure to try to check it out for you guys. And uh, yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, and stay awesome, guys.